हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस इथेरियम सॉलिडिटी ब्लॉकचेन डेवलपर कोर्स एंड आई एम निखिल तदानी एंड आई विल बी योर इंस्ट्रक्टर थ्रू आउट दिस कोर्स एंड लेट्स स्टार्ट्स एंड प्लीज लाइक द वीडियो एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एज वेल सो दैट आई कैन बी मोटिवेटेड टू पोस्ट द वीडियोस लाइक दिस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो व्हाट इज अ ब्लॉकचेन द ब्लॉकचेन इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ पब्लिक लेजर ऑफ ऑल ऑफ द ट्रांजैक्शंस सो इट इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ पब्लिक लेजर व्हिच इज अ सीरीज और द चेन ऑफ द ब्लॉक्स ऑन व्हिच द ट्रांजैक्शन डिटेल्स आर रिकॉर्डेड and only after the suitable authentication and verification done by the designated network participants so it is like a form of public ledger which holds a record of the transactions and only after the authentication like whenever the authentication will succeed it will add a record on the blockchain and it will wait once the transaction is completed and verified by the network participants and it is distributed network which is shared among the nodes so it is a distributed network that is shared among the nodes of a computer network and each node is connected to the previous and the next node and it hence forms a chain of the nodes and then we call it a blockchain and each node is just a computer which is just working on the blockchain network and it stores the information of the transactions in digital format so as a database the blockchain stores information electronically in a digital format and the blockchain are best known for their crucial role in the cryptocurrency systems such as the bitcoin and like for maintaining a secure and the decentralized record of the transactions so it is known for making a secure and the immutable record of the transactions so blockchain is an immutable database and you cannot manipulate the data that's already there in the blockchain so the data cannot be altered and there is a hash value in the blockchain which is like a unique value it can be a unique id as well like to identify one block and it identifies one block's content and then each content and the each block have its unique id and the unique hash value and the blockchain identifies each block from their unique value as well so why do we need the blockchain so this is very good question so first thing we need is like the peer to peer systems so as a distributed ledger technology the blockchain records the transactions as an immutable time stamp digital block that indicates that only the sender and the receivers and no centralized authority manages the blockchain networks and only the participants can validate the transactions among each other like if you are sending money to another person and only two of you have access to the transaction and no other third party or the intermediate person have access to the transaction so it is a type of a decentralized ledger tracking of one or more digital assets on a peer to peer network and when we say what is a peer to peer network it means a decentralized peer to peer network where all of the computers are connected in some way and where each maintains a complete copy of the ledger and compares it to the other devices to ensure that the data is accurate or not and this is unlike the bank where the transactions are stored privately and are managed only by the bank and then it has a advantage of the high speed transactions so the time for a transaction is very good with the blockchain and it just takes around just 10 seconds and to the 10 minutes for any transaction to complete whether it can be a national or international and as usually when we do a international transaction we wait for around 5 working days and hence seeing the differences from the 5 working days to just 10 minutes and any time 24/7 like the banks have a holiday on the saturday sunday but the cryptocurrency is available 24/7 and it makes a huge difference in the speed and the time and then it has a increased capacity so the most remarkable thing about this blockchain technology is that it increases the capacity of the whole network because of the reason that there are a lot of computers working together which in total offers a great power then few of the devices which we are the things were centralized so whenever a new transaction is added to the blockchain it increases the capacity of the network while containing all of the computers which are connected to the blockchain and it is a ledger of all of the transactions so as we have discussed that a blockchain is essentially a digital ledger of the transactions that is duplicated and then shared and distributed across entire network of the computer systems on the blockchain so now we will see some application areas of the blockchain like where the blockchain can be helpful for us so the first thing it can be a digital rights and you can see an example of the nfts like they can be a digital art and it can be a right of having a digital art to end but what is an nft so nft are like the non fungible tokens which are commonly thought of as ways like to own the rights of a digital art so since the blockchain prevents the data from existing in two places and only you you can have the original copy of the data 
and it putting into an NFT on the blockchain guarantees that only a single copy of piece of digital art exists on this internet. That can make it like investing in physical art but without the drawbacks of the storage and maintenance because it can hold the storage and maintenance cost also. So a digital art can be anything like I am recording this video so this recording can also be a digital art like I have an image on my computer and that image can also be a digital art and blockchain ensures that only the single copy of that information is shared among just one owner and you cannot have two owners of a single image or a single copy of any data and then we can see the advantage in the ownership deeds so if you have knowledge about the real estate so no real estate transaction is complete without a deed registration and this is the process by which an official written record of the transactions which include the basic informations which include your personal informations as well some bank statements and so much information like KYC and even about the property and the transfer of the ownership and they are all filled with the government so it can be applied to the fund manager and investors directly without any middlewares and then we can have a private and equity market so it provides a significant benefits to issuers by enabling the easier cheaper and faster access and securable access to capital to the programmable digital assets and securities and the securities can be issued in just minutes with their corresponding rights and obligations that are encoded and automated and this allow the issuers and the facilitators of the new issue is to increase the velocity of the funding event so it can be helpful in the private and the equity markets without no any middleman person and it can have impact on the e-commerce system so because the blockchain makes the transactions safer and faster and easier as well and it has a potential to impact on the e-commerce and it can be tremendous because it makes online and financial transactions more secure and the blockchain is very good for the both of the brands and the buyers and it also provides a lot of other benefits including the cutting cost because of no any commission agents between them and improving the business processes and direct transactions and making transaction faster and improving the overall customer experience with the blockchain and then it can have impact in the payment systems as well and how because the blockchain technology promises to facilitate the fast secure low cost international payment processing services and other transaction as well through the use of the encrypted distributed ledgers that provide a trusted and the real time verification of the transactions without the need of the intermediaries such as the corresponding banks the commission agents or like clearing houses and much more and the and this technology was initially used to support the digital currency bitcoin but now it is being explored for a wide variety of applications that don't involve the bitcoin so it can be very beneficial to the payment systems without a need of the bank as well and then elections and the votings but how can be it helpful to the elections and votings and if you know there are so much debates about it on the elections and votings but why because the blockchain technology provides a platform for creating the highly secure and the decentralized anonymized and yet audible chain of the record and it is used presently in cryptocurrency systems as we know that the data cannot be altered so the same technology can also be used to record and report the votes and prevent many type of water fraud in the elections and especially after the misinformation spread during the 2020 US elections and the world may be ready for the blockchain voting on the larger scales. Now we will see that how does the blockchain work so now we have discussed about the uses and the application areas of the blockchain and we have discussed about the blockchain that what it is but now we have to see that how does the blockchain works. So the blockchain collects the information together in the blocks and each blocks hold a set of information. But what does that mean again? So the blockchain collects the information together in the groups which is also known as the blocks and each group holds the set of information. And each block have a certain storage capacity when any block will be filled then they will be chained onto the previously filled block and hence it forms a chain of the data known as the blockchain. And this is all completed in a decentralized manner. So each block have access and once it will be filled then it will chain to the previous block. And then each block is connected to the one before and after it to form a chain. So each block is connected to then and the blocks confirms the exact same timestamp and the sequence of the transactions like whenever the transaction is added or whenever the transaction is completed and all the blocks are linked securely together to prevent any block from being altered or modified or a block being inserted between the two existing blocks. 
so it all take care from the blockchain itself and then once the transaction is started and added the data cannot be changed or the deleted so the biggest advantage of the blockchain is that data cannot be altered whereas as we see in the other traditional databases like sql mongodb and so many databases so the data can be modified and deleted easily from the backend so a backend person can delete the data and it can be a uh, harmful for us so the blockchain doesn't let you change the record and the transactions get completed or rejected after that now i have seen an example on the nerd wallet website and i will read it for you about the blockchain that how does the blockchain works so the example states that like suppose we send a bitcoin like the purchase and the sale of the bitcoin is entered and transmitted to a network of powerful computers known as the nodes and nodes are just a type of the computer which works on the blockchain network and this network of thousand nodes connected around the world now needs to confirm the transaction using the computer algorithms and this is known as the bitcoin mining if you don't know then you can read about this and the miner who will first successfully completes a new block is then rewarded with a bitcoin for their work and these rewards are paid with a combination of the new limited bitcoin and the network fees which are passed on to the buyer and the seller and the fee can rise or fall depending on the volume of the transaction that how much bitcoin or how much transaction is being sent and after the purchase is cryptographically confirmed by the private key then the scale is added to the block on the distributed ledger and the majority of the network must then confirm the sale that the sale has been occurred and the block is permanently chained to all of the previous blocks of the bitcoin transactions using a cryptographic fingerprint known as a hash and then the sale is processed now we have seen that how does the blockchain works and now how can we create an our own blockchain through the smart contracts so we can just create a smart contract to run on the blockchain but what are the smart contracts so a smart contracts is simply a program that runs on the ethereum blockchain once the specified condition is met so it is just a program that runs on the ethereum blockchain and it is a collection of the code and the data inside it that resides at a specific address on the ethereum blockchain and it is a self executing contract that contains information of the agreement between the both parties the buyer and the seller so the smart contract is a self executing contract with the terms of the agreement between the buyer and the seller and being directly written into the lines of code so the agreement is just a lines of code which is like a smart contract and the code and the agreements exist across a distributed decentralized blockchain network and the code controls the execution and the transactions are trackable and irreversible like you cannot modify the transaction once it is started and then they are just lines of code that contains all the encoded data so it is just an agreement between the buyer and the seller which is being directly written into the lines of code but how can we create a smart contracts so we can create a smart contracts with so many programming languages but now in this course we will focus on the solidity programming language and solidity programming language helps us to create a smart contracts for the ethereum blockchain and in this course we will focus on the ethereum blockchain and solidity is like a statically typed the curly braces programming language which is designed for developing the smart contracts that can be run on the ethereum blockchain and it is very easy to learn and the implement and it will be more easier if you know the javascript or the c++ and it is a object oriented a high level and statically typed language so the type of variable for any function will be statically defined unlike the javascript where we can add any type of value to any type of variable so the solidity is highly secure and a high level programming language so now we will start and now we will move on to the next video where we will create a smart contract so thank you guys for watching this video and i hope you will like this video as well so that more people can see the video and this video will help a lot of young developers who want to learn the ethereum blockchain and who want to become a blockchain developer so this video can be helpful for them also so please like the video and please subscribe to the channel as well and please comment it out if you need any information more on the blockchain so thank you